You're listening to Star Talk Radio with Neil deGrasse Tyson, except this is not Neil deGrasse Tyson. <laughs> I'm Mike Massimino, sitting in for Neil with my friend Chuck Nice. Hey, what's happening, Mike? Looking good. Nothing. I'm, I'm, I'm excited to be here. Looking good, man. You're looking good. Neil, you. Neil never looks so better. What can I say? We can say, since he's not here, we can say anything we want, can't we? <laughs> we miss Neil, though. No, I want to come back. <laughs> <laughs> all right, here we go. Let's get to a question. Of course, we're taking queries from all over the internet, and this one is from Sterling Grog. Ooh, what a cool name, that huh? That is pretty cool. All right. What, if any, are NASA's contingency plans for bringing back crew after catastrophic events? Failures on the ISS. So he's right. not talking about a shuttle mission. Right. He's talking about the dudes that are living up there for six months at a time, mm -hmm. but somebody gets really, really messed up right. bad. Right. What do you do to get that person home? And then how do you take care of that person while they're on right. the space station? This is a this is a good question, Chuck, uh, because you know, we look at the risks of being in space. Right. And the Soyuz is is a fairly reliable vehicle to launch and to land. Okay. But your danger of, of something bad happening to you now because you're up there for six months has grown because of medical emergencies, which I think is what That's we're what talking, talking about. about right. So if you have a medical emergency, we can handle some things in space. You know, we do have some equipment. We have communication with the ground. We can do some basic tests. We all get training, some basic medical training, like emergency mm -hmm. uh, medical training. Mm -hmm. But not all of us come from the medical background. So for certain things that are going to require a, a, real, a, a real doctor to do something, mm -hmm. we can get that person back to Earth fairly quickly. Uh, you know, we'd probably get them buttoned up and down maybe about 90 minutes to get them back. That quickly? Well, you would go really fast, try to do an emergency deorbit to get them in, get get the ship away, and, and try to come back. But really? it's, it's not going to be instantaneous, but hopefully it would be around that amount of time. I had, I, I mean, I would have thought it would have been a heck of a lot longer well, than you, that. I'm th if you can get inside, do a quick deorbit, burn your engine. Uh-huh. It will dep It depends on where you are over the Earth. So right. probably the quickest you could do it would be about that ninety minutes. Ninety minutes. You're probably looking at a few hours. But that depends on the, the position the of position your Position is where you are because you want to be able to land in the right place. So if from start to finish, you're probably looking at at least a couple hours. I know people in New York who commute more than ninety minutes to work. That's right. But that would that that is a real issue. You need to be able to get back. But the Soyuz spacecraft is always on the space station. We And if you have, there's three people that can fit in there, so if you have a crew of six, you have two of them up there. Mm -hmm. But that is your lifeboat. So they don't try to mitigate the uh, circumstances of tragedy uh, with a ship's doctor, like a Bones McCoy? There's well, you know, we like have, that? you always have uh, a, like a chief medical officer. And sometimes that's a doctor. In the case of my first space flight, <laughs> in the first, my first space flight, it was a veterinarian. Sometimes we had. Sometimes a it's a doctor. Sometimes you have a, an MD on board. My first flight, we had uh, Rick Linehan, who was a who was a uh, a, a, a veterinarian. He mm -hmm. was great, man. He could patch up just about anything. Right. But other times, you might have like a fighter pilot, you know, a test pilot. And would you want them administering medicine to you, even if they were trained uh, is, in is, some way? Is it Tom Cruise yeah, from well, Top hey, Gun? Because yeah, no. if it is. So <laughs> yeah, there are some things we can handle, some things we can't. And right even on. an experienced doctor might not be able to handle mm -hmm. everything. So, I'm a fighter pilot, not a, a doctor. Exactly. Gadget. But some of those guys wouldn't mind working on you, and that's where you'd be really concerned. Let Get me home. Right. So yeah. that's cool. So there is a contingency plan, there and is. basically it's get you the hell off of that thing and get that's you back right. to Earth. If you can handle it locally, we're going to get you back. Awesome. Well, there you have it, Sterling. There's your answer. This has been Mike Massimino sitting in for Neil deGrasse Tyson with Chuck Nice, and you've been listening to Star Talk Radio. Liftoff.